and we carve runes to remember those who who went ahead, who went before us. Okay, <clears throat> doesn't look too bad. They have uh, tore the door off the hinges. I made that door and we have the usual empty bottle of vodka, most of my firewood is gone. That one is not mine. Yeah. Not as bad as I had feared. We are at the end of the hunting season after all. The weather is nice, so I want to sit outside today. I'm going to uh, have some coffee and I'm going to carve some runes. So I have a new knife. <clears throat> Uh, Helle Viking, a fitting name, very simple design. I really like it. I haven't used it before, so well, I have made a knife with this knife blade before, you know, but I haven't bought a ready made knife before, so I know the blade, but uh, this is a new knife. <clears throat> As all Hedler knives. Oh, look at this. Look at this. It's shaving sharp. Not that I shave, but uh, this is just wonderful. Should be all. These are, I think, leftover materials from uh, when they built the Lavo. So many, many years ago. I have to be careful. <laughs> this is all wet, but I have to be careful if it's <laughs> it doesn't burn off here.
this is the Raidu, Raidu. I'm not exactly certain about the uh, I'm thinking in Norwegian now, so <laughs> but this is R. And it symbolizes change, travel, new things, I would say. An important rune. L. L. These are the runes as they were written in most parts of Norway during the Viking Age. And they are different from the Elder Futhark, which is uh, a rune alphabet with more um, symbols. Or letters, um, and and the old futark is often confused with the younger futark, and this is um, the Norwegian version of it. Okay, so let's have a look at the runes. This is the Fehu, uh, f, like in uh, father, f, uh, symbolizes wealth. Uh, stands for cattle, actually. Uh, the one who had uh, a lot of cattle would be, uh, you know, a well considered a wealthy man. Uh, this is U, uh, or also V, uh, W, Y, sometimes O, Ö. Uh, this is the Urur, the ancient ox. This is D, or like in uh, Thor, um, it stands for uh, uh, the creatures, uh, magical creatures living underground. Um, Tusir, troll, troll, <laughs> and this is um, this is the, this tricky one actually. Uh, uh, it's. Uh, I hope I pronounced this correctly now. In Norwegian, I would just say uh, it's it's a mix of o a o. It's not a pure a, and the pronunciation will vary um, depending on where in the word uh, it's written. This is r. The raidu stands for travel, change. Uh, this is um, uh, this is K or G, and uh, then we're over here at uh, H. <laughs> Hagal stands for destruction. Uh, in Norwegian, the word means uh, hail. So if you had a hailstorm, your uh, crops could be destroyed. Uh, you would have famine. Now. Um, I'm not going to go through all the magical uh, <laughs> hidden meanings and so on behind the words, be sorry, behind the runes, but um, that would be too much for this video. But this is, uh, which one is this? Uh, this is the uh, we Hagal, and then we have N, that's <laughs> uh, N as in um, no. And we have uh, E or uh, E, Isa, uh, means eyes, stands for uh, preserving and uh, also death and uh, things standing still, not moving. The, the opposite, opposite of change, I would say. And we're over at uh, a pure uh, A. A, well, I'm saying a pure A, but at least the sound A 
it's this one but also sometimes ah and we're over here at uh, a tricky one i believe this is uh, not a pure r this is the ah. and then we are over at uh, s that's a simple one stands for sun and these are very similar and you know just a little short line here a notch and it all depends on where they are placed so you have the R at the lower part and the S at the higher part then we have a T or T or D um, it's Tyr's rune uh, it the Danish version has has a notch down there as well so it looks like an arrow pointing upwards and then it's uh, B or B, P and it's um, very different actually from the Danish version that you might know um, which which looks like a B and then we're over here at uh, M um, also very different from the Danish version uh, it's not a cross it's just a simplified um, a simplified rune really uh, lots of Norwegian runes are simplified and then the last one L, L here and we kind of we finish off with two dots here and we start with two dots now the runes um, I would say today many people associate the runes with something magical, you know, uh, like uh, they were used in sorcery and and all sorts of magic. Uh, I don't know, but uh, we need to remember that the runes were just the the, the written language of the of the Norse, um, and they had they needed that because they needed it for in their daily life for trade and to send messages to each other and so on and they would use it for trade as i mentioned but also we have found many uh, rune inscriptions um, everything from uh, memorials of deceased ones to uh, uh, short messages that gives us a glimpse into the daily life of the Vikings. Uh, w one example of that is an inscription on a rune. No, so on a, on a in an inscription on a soup bone, <laughs> and it just says "kiss me," <laughs> and I can kind of imagine a young man maybe who carved in those runes into that bone, that piece of bone there, and and uh, hand it over to his uh, his uh, future wife maybe <laughs> uh, just gives us a glimpse into the daily life of the vikings uh, the runes had were believed to have magic magical meanings as well uh, they are strong symbols um, so and and there are some um anecdotes in the sagas uh, that tells us that, that uh, runes were cast to, to uh, were probably used to cast, uh, what's it called, um, spells, uh, no, um, look into the future and, and so on. Yeah, even spells. But uh, first and foremost, the runes were just um, a means of communicating. Um, and it kind of reminds us that the Vikings were advanced people. They were uh, intelligent people. And uh, as most intelligent people, uh, cultures, uh, they, uh, they needed a, uh, they had a written language. So when most people uh, think about Viking runes, they think about the elder or older Futark. But that those runes had, um, uh, were not in use during the Viking Age. By then the rune alphabet had been uh, made more effective. They had lost many of the letters and uh, uh, that probably happened because they, they um, 
would use different techniques to cram as many letters into as little space as possible. Because they would have little space, like they would carve into a piece of uh, wood uh, or bone and and they would um, if what for instance if one word ended with the same letter as the next word started with they would just write that letter once for instance uh, just to give you an example um, yeah well I can't said Daniel <laughs> Like D D, and that would the D would be written only once. Okay. So uh, the runes. I like the runes. I'm not a rune expert at all, um, and I often forget the runes when I don't use them. But um, runes are beautiful. Now I carved them on my walking stick. Hopefully, I'll remember them. And uh, again, these are not the older food arc, it's not, it's the younger food arc and it's the Norwegian version. So they will look different from, maybe from the ones you've seen uh, before. We carve runes to remember. To remember who we are, where we came from, sometimes to remind us where we are going. To tell us where we're going. And we call runes to remember those who who went ahead. Who went before us. The sun is uh, setting. The days are very short now. It's, uh, it's the 18th of December. So in uh, three days now, uh, the days will start getting longer. Uh, I'm always looking forward to that. But anyway, I am. Um, it's time for me to get back home. And uh, thank you for spending this time with me out here in the woods. I haven't been up here by the wooden lava for uh, quite some time now. Uh, it was good to get up here again. Yeah, it's a very nice place. I spent many a night here. Uh, it's. Um, A special place to me. Okay, um, I will pack up everything and uh, head back home. And uh, thank you for spending this time with me. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video as always. If you're not already a subscriber, um, please consider subscribing. And uh, I will be back with uh, another video uh, next weekend. So have a wonderful day or night or whatever it is in your part of the world and uh, I'll see you soon. Bye bye.